know I see him. It's a little leprechaun. Do you see him? And all you have to do is grab him. This is the leprechaun trap. I have the gold. And so you just kind of put the gold here like this and... Oh, missed him again! <sighs> no matter how much I try, no matter what I try to do, you cannot catch these little guys. I'm Steve Spangler and I'm the biggest kid in the world and I uh, love St. Patrick's Day. Not just because it's fun and, and everything else that you can kind of do with it, but St. Patrick's Day is a wonderful opportunity to be able to integrate some science that you might not normally sneak in through, uh, through the rest of the year. First things first, uh, this is a leprechaun trap. And if you don't know what a leprechaun trap is, you owe it to yourself to hop on Google and just do a Google image search of leprechaun traps. And they're not my invention. I first was introduced to them by a group of really great early childhood educators that were uh, taking care of my kids. As my boys went through preschool, they came home and I remember them saying that we have to build a leprechaun trap. 